time to get nostalgic. So what I have here is a collection of old childhood items I have, which I am very fortunate enough to still have in my possession. And I want to look at each individually, so let's not waste any more time and get straight to it. Starting off here we have a Trackmaster Henry, and doesn't he look great? The other side is the exact same with details, the only difference being that the sticker is pretty damaged. Also the tender all in general isn't even mine, it's actually the tender from my cousin's Henry but he was nice enough to let me have it, so that's pretty cool. The face on this Henry is pretty good too. It's very accurate to the model series Henry face, and I quite like that. Some details have worn off such as the paint, but I mean he has gone through a lot so I'm not really surprised at all. Sadly it doesn't work anymore, but what can you really expect from a model which has been heavily beat up? Next up here we have the Happy Birthday Thomas 2 pack. Now I remember seeing this Thomas a lot in my childhood. The detailing is quite nice as you see Thomas being covered in streamers and his boxcar is being covered with many birthday decorations. I should also mention that the door opens and shuts, revealing presents inside. Overall a pretty nice pack. Here we have a wooden railway hero. Again another great model. One thing to mention is that over the years his details have been fading away and on both sides actually, but it does show how much I did play with them. Unfortunately, I lost his tender many years ago, however I did try to replace it with the James tender, but it did not look good so I'll just leave him with that one. Coming up here we have 4 battery powered wooden railway engines. Now these engines are in an okay shape but none of them work, except for Percy, who actually does run fairly well. But anyways, here we have Salty, Thomas, Percy, and James. Still pretty good models. Next up we have a pack which has been presumably said to be rare. That being the Thomas and Hector Trackmaster pack. Starting off here we have a stock standard Thomas. Nothing much to really show off here, it's just a regular Thomas. So we can move on to the next thing. Following up here we have a grey wagon. And again there's not much to say here on this one, just pretty stock standard. And ending off the pack we have the man, the myth, the legend, Hector. And besides the face, he's pretty good. And actually, I do have two Hectors. However, the one on the right is a bit more scratched up, so that kind of sucks. And here we have the jet engine. As you see, it's quite beaten up. A lot of places which have paint have been worn off, exposing the metal. This happening on both sides. Here we have the back of the jet engine, and the front. If you're wondering what happened to the magnet, then let me explain. If any of you remember my second unboxing video, I got a new jet engine, which worked, but was missing the magnet, so I said I would take off the magnet from this jet engine and place it on the working one, and so that's what I did. And here is the new jet engine with the magnet, and it does work, but it's fairly loud, I mean have a listen. Sadly, I don't have the Thomas that was included with the jet engine, but I might plan on getting it in the future, so we'll have to wait and see. Now here, we have the new style wooden railway Annie and Clarabelle. Now I do remember when and how I got these. I had gone to Barnes and Noble with my dad, and we went to the Thomas aisle, and I knew I had to get them the moment I saw them, so I picked them up. They're not in the best condition, but I was a careless kid when I was little. Their roofs were pretty chipped up, so I had them painted a few years back, and I won't say I did a great job because I didn't do it well. But oh well, I'm still pretty happy I have them though. Next up we have a stock standard wooden railway Percy and Salty. They both aren't in that bad of a condition, I mean I expected them to be a bit more dinged up, but surprisingly, they don't seem to be that messed up. One thing I will point out is that I would mark my engines with sharpies, as you see with Salty as he has a black sharpie mark on him, and with Percy he has some weird blue marks on him too. I think Salt he had a mark to represent a funnel on him even though he's a diesel, and Percy has water rushing down his tanks, so that's pretty interesting. 
Here we have two Trackmaster cards, which I suppose are from the same pack. I could be wrong, but these are the Chocolate Syrup Tanker and the Mr. Jolly Chocolate Factory Box car. They're both not in the best shape, especially the Chocolate Syrup Tanker. I mean, the couplings are all gone, and the printing is pretty scratched up, but it's still pretty good stuff. Next up, we've got some rolling stock, which we'll look at each individually. Here's a red wagon with applied sharpie on it, I guess to add extra details. So here we have a black troublesome truck with a very odd coupling, which came off and I guess that was a replacement. So that's pretty nice. Now here we have a regular red truck, pretty stock standard, so not much to talk about here. Coming up here we have a flatbed, which I did use very often, usually to put engines on top of it. So that was pretty fun. And I actually have two of these, so that's nice. Here we have an open lifting truck. Which I do remember getting this in the Misty Island set back in Christmas. So that makes this pretty memorable. And here's how the feature works. Now here we have a blue version of that truck I just showed. Except it uses a different mold, which is very interesting. But here's the feature on this one. So that's pretty cool. Next up we have a cattle car and he did come in a pack with the caboose and James but sadly I don't have any of those this is the last piece. It does however have a face, it doesn't have a name yet but if anyone has any suggestions then just let me know. And lastly we have the- <laughs> Carnival car and I actually really like this piece, it's very vibrant so it very much stands out. It's also very accurate to its television series counterpart, and I think that's pretty cool. But anyways, I think it's time we move on to the big one. My take-alongs. Here we have Thomas. Percy. Toby A black covered Toby, which if I remember correctly was in the Steamworks set, so that's pretty nice. That's James. With no tender. Here's Stepney. Now here's Edward. And finally, two Gordons, with no tenders. And with that, we covered up all the take-alongs I have. I'm a really useful engine. And we have one more item, which I decided to keep as last, because it really just shows how much I love this item. What I presume is my first wooden railway item ever, a wooden railway Thomas and as you see he's been through a lot but I'm not really that surprised considering I still really love this item this is probably one of my first Thomas items period I mean the condition just really says it all his smoke box moves from left to right which isn't surprising considering the quality he's currently in now if any of you watch Leo Kim video then you might know the term Thomas love well that's exactly what he's been given here this item has a lot of significance into it, it's a very important part of my childhood, which was why I decided to show it off last. But anyways, I think it's time we wrap up the video here, so let's do that. So that's all I have for you today, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, then I suggest you subscribe if you like this video, you might like some of my other content as well. But this is where we're gonna sign off, so I hope to see you on the next one, peace.